one important factor with growing tomatoes is that you help them grow vertical, keep them off the soil. Tomatoes especially are one of our vegetable plants that um, are pretty prone to diseases and a lot of those diseases originate in the soil. So if you can keep the plants from growing upright, that can help with the disease organisms splashing on them. And then it also can help with air circulation so the plants um, dry out after irrigation and after rain. So a couple different types of um, staking methods. These are just some simple tomato cages. And tomato cages really depend on the type of tomato you have. This one, you can tell, pretty flimsy system. Um, in fact, sometimes a, a cage like this, this is usually a little bit more economical cage, but it's also one that's not gonna last as long. Um, if you have a very large vine tomato, by the end of the season, it could completely push this type of cage over. But sometimes you even, during the growing season, need to get an additional stake just to support the cage, just to keep the cage um, upright. There are other types of cages that are up to seven, eight feet tall, and they're a lot stronger. They're more expensive to start with, but especially if you're going to be an avid tomato grower, they're probably worth the investment just because they really help contain a large vined tomato variety. You can also stake um, tomato plants. And so instead of having a structure that's actually around the plant, you have one singular pole or stake or rebar, for instance, that's right next to the plant. And then as the tomato plant grows, you can tie it off loosely to the stake and encourage its upright growth. So there's a couple different items that you can use to tie plants off. You don't need to get fancy, but garden centers always give you lots of options. Um, there are some Velcro plant ties that you can get at your garden center. And these have Velcro on them. You can cut them to different lengths. It just comes as a roll. And easily Velcro, you can easily take them apart re-velcro it on and that way you can change placement throughout the season and so this little guy probably another few weeks i might be tying um, the first one around him but just to the main branch you just loosely tie him off other items you could use is just string or raffia you don't have to get too fancy with ties if you do staking usually it requires that you pinch off some of the additional arms and you really just train one central leader or trunk of the tomato plant for more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website.